Welcome to Sethcraft. I have the Thunder Laser Nova 35 100 watt CO2 laser. I want to connect this to my computer using the Ethernet cable. The main reason I want to do that is because my computer is a long distance away from the laser and the USB cable is not going to work. There are just a couple of steps you have to take in order to get this machine to talk to Lightburn. So let's go ahead and get into that real quick. Now, this may seem daunting at first, but I promise you it really is not. So let's go ahead and make the changes we need between the computer and the laser to get the ethernet to work. Step one is to go ahead and plug up the ethernet cable. I have that right there and then turn the machine on. You can see the light is on inside and so we are good to go there. And now let's step into the computer for a second. Go down to your start button and type in CMD on a search and that will open up a command prompt. Once the command prompt is open, type in ipconfig space slash all. That's going to open up the information on your wireless and your wired communication. Uh, we want to find the one that says ethernet adapter. Now you notice right here the auto configuration IPv4 address. This is what I've got and uh, write your number down. It's most likely going to be different. And uh, once you have this number, we're going to go over to the laser next. Now I'm over here at the main screen of the laser. I want to press the menu button and then go down to where it says IP config. So just pressing down a few times, get here, press the enter button. Now you'll see it has this uh, field right here, the IP address. I want to put in the address that I pulled off of my machine, except for I want to change this last number to something else. So, for example, mine is 169. So I'm going to use the arrow keys. And so it's got one. I've got six, nine. I can press the middle button to go to the next field, 254. We got 455. Well, it should let us do two here. There we go. Two, five, four. Next, we want 90. Ninety, and last instead of the forty-two, let's just do forty-three. All right. Whenever I'm done, I press Enter. It's going to save that, and I can press Escape, and we should be good right here. Now it's time to set up Lightburn. I'm going to load the program. I'm going to go to Devices and I want to create manually. I'm going to scroll down until I find this uh, Ruida. Click that. Next. I do want it to be Ethernet. Click Next. And here's where I type in the same address that was typed into the laser. So what we've got is uh, 169254 90 and then we did um, 43 I believe it was all right let's give it a name let's do uh, Thunder Nova 35 the dimensions here are gonna be let's see oh my bad uh, let's see we got um, 35.5 and uh, 24 23.5, I believe, are the numbers. And it's going to be rear left, and then finish. And so hopefully we do this. It will change our uh, dimensions here, and it does say ready. Let me uh, move this and see if the laser itself moves. Yep, I'm hearing it. Let me show you. You should be able to see the laser head move whenever I press the move keys here in Lightburn.
All right, there you go. If you're like me and you have a long run from the computer to the laser and the USB cable is just not gonna reach because of the 16 foot limit, then the ethernet is the way to go. And as you can see, it's really not all that hard to set up. Just have to change the IP address on the laser and it should work. Now there is a chance that if your IP address is 192.168.1. something, the laser can just be changed and you don't even have to go into the settings there. But um, for me, it worked out well to find the ethernet address and just change it by one number here on the laser and it's good to go. If you got some questions or comments, leave those down below. I'll see if I can get to them. I'm Seth with the Seth Craft Workshop and I will see you in the next video.